Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and 3M. The redesigned Mercedes-Benz GLK seems to hit all the right buttons as sales of this small luxury crossover are way up. It appears that a lot of well-heeled folks are looking for crossovers that have rugged looks without having to compromise on creature comforts. Rugged outside, sensitive inside, sounds like the ideal traveling partner. And now we can add a turbo diesel engine to that winning ticket. In our most recent test of the 2013 Mercedes-Benz GLK, we found its trifecta of more features, more power, and better fuel economy to be a winning ticket. But there's always room for improvement, and we hope to find just that in the Bluetech version of Benz's smallest ute. Though it won't be the smallest for long, as Mercedes has announced an even smaller GLA will be on the way next year. But we digress. Fitting a diesel to a utility is nothing new for Mercedes, of course, but up until this point, here in the U.S., they've been found in their bigger buck utes. So it's nice to see the trickle-down theory work in our favor for a change. The diesel that powers the GLK is not the 3-liter V6 that powers the GL and M-Class. Rather, it's a new 2.1-liter turbocharged I-4 diesel, complete with dual overhead cams, variable valve timing, and two balance shafts to quell vibration. It delivers 200 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque in an extremely refined manner. Inside, you'll find the same mix of modern features with retro style that we found very appealing in the 13 GLK. The command central controller activates functions on the center stack's deeply hooded 7-inch navigation screen, which includes an available web browser and detailed weather information. Leather seating is optional, but we found the standard MB text material quite suitable. Cushions are firm, more in the all-day comfortable vein rather than just pillowy soft. Back seat cushions are also quite comfortable, but even with reliefs cut in the front seat backs, leg room is tight for adults. Cargo space is adequate, but trails most in the segment, with the rear cargo area holding just 23.3 cubic feet of goods, expanding to 54.7 when the seat backs are folded. Those seat backs are also heavy, but they do fold easily and completely flat. A rear power liftgate comes with a premium package, which also adds a panorama, sunroof, and more. As for the rugged exterior look of the GLK, its squared off ends and tight lines are certainly retro G-Wagon inspired. But a steeply raked windshield and the angular nose are fully in the modern world. Wheelbase is 108.5 inches, and overall length comes in about 11 inches shorter than the M-Class. Opt for the Sport Appearance Package and 19-inch alloy wheels and brushed aluminum roof rails spice up the ride. Behind the steering wheel, the GLK feels very solid and easy to drive. The small size makes it a breeze to navigate through traffic, and the addition of the diesel engine makes highway merging and overtaking about as simple as it gets. But improved government fuel economy ratings are the true measure of a diesel. And this blue tech does not disappoint, averaging 24 city, 33 highway, and 28 combined. We had no problem averaging close to the highway number at 32.9 in mixed driving. The energy impact score comes in at 13.6 barrels of annual oil use, with CO2 emissions coming in at 6.1 tons. We found the GLK to be a ton of fun at our test track as well. Off the line, it wasted little time in putting down the power and took us to 60 in 7.4 seconds. Shifts come early and often from the standard seven-speed automatic as the GLK smoothly shifts its way to the end of the quarter mile in 15.7 seconds at 86 miles per hour. Attacking our cone course with equal urgency, the GLK proved to be capable enough, but smoothness is required as any harsh inputs on the wheel will result in stability control kicking in fairly aggressively. 4MATIC permanent all-wheel drive has a slight rear bias and comes standard on all Bluetechs. Usually when you talk diesels, there is a significant price premium to be discussed, 
Well, not so in this case, as the Bluetech comes in $500 cheaper than a GLK 350 Formatic V6, starting at just $39,495. Bargain hunters can get a base two-wheel drive GLK 350 for $37,995. The 2013 Mercedes-Benz GLK is indeed on a roll, and with the addition of the Bluetech diesel engine, clearly that winning streak will continue. Rugged style, premium interior, and now even better fuel economy. It looks like that winning ticket just came with a bonus jackpot. 